attention. Please evacuate the building immediately through the nearest safe exit. This is an absolute treat of a story, but let's go ahead and rewind. find our gate. We just got some waters and are you mute? <laughs> I'm just really tired. I know. We got up at 2 I got up at 2.22 today. Nice. So yeah, that's what I set my alarm for. Mm. I want to show you my outfit because it's really, really cute. So yeah. you know your job. You're going to hold it right there? Sure. You can see. Believe it or not, this is not from Frankie's. This is from Amazon. And it's a really good do. I'll link it for you. I think it's really cute. Yeah, so we cute. We didn't have to take our shoes off. No, that's so new. Random, so we could have worn like sneaks, but did the others. Okay. A party. Yeah, me too. Good. Yeah. shuttle after we park our car at what time like 5 a.m. 4 30 a.m. and thank god right when we pull up to actually go into the airport Brad remembers he left his backpack in the car which like has a bunch of stuff in it, it he needed it um so I tell the lady I go up to the front and say hey we're gonna stay on the shuttle because we forgot something in the car we're in shelter 16 she says okay that's fine so we drive the shuttle all the way back to shuttle 16 and Brad runs off really quickly as I already gave her a heads up and the minute the minute he gets off the shuttle this lady turns around and starts yelling at me in front of like 20 people 
and being like, you guys need to get off. I'm not waiting here. There's no one at the shuttle. You guys are holding everyone up. You're gonna have to go catch another one, blah, blah, blah. It's literally our car is right next to the shelter. He was in a full sprint. I don't think you were gone 30 seconds like from the shuttle. I think you would, it literally took you under 30 seconds to get the backpack. And it would have taken me two minutes to get all of our luggage off there by myself. And I was like, can you not wait 30 seconds? And she was like, I am not supposed to do this. This is not my job, blah, blah, blah. Like yelling at me. And by the time she's like done yelling, Brad literally is back on the shuttle like nothing ever happened which whatever like it's early maybe she doesn't like her job whatever i when we get off the shuttle i say thanks so much again for stopping i appreciate it like kill him with kindness so thank god our flight was good i have like a personal beef with airpods they do not fit my ears brad and i are trying to watch a show we're fighting because the airpod keeps falling out of my ear it goes under my seat just the whole thing and then we have our layover. Did anything happen on our layover? No. No? No. Good. Our layover was fine, it was smooth. And our flight, honestly, was pretty smooth. There was a baby crying, but I don't care when that happens. They literally can't help it, and the kids don't know what's going on. So that was fine, but then we get to the Newark airport, and we, as soon as we sit down, we just hear, like, please evacuate the building right now. You guys literally saw, like you guys saw, and apparently someone had pulled the fire alarm but it said evacuate and so we go to stand by the exit to get out and all the exits are shut off so even if there was a fire we could not have gotten out anyways it's just crazy but i am so grateful because it's like not even 11 a.m yet and we couldn't check into our airbnb until four so we were gonna have to just like roam around for like five hours but she just texted me and said we can check in at noon so i'm so happy to get this travel day over with i want to just relax for a second then we can get some food and start the new york new york vlog but i just wanted to tell that little story sorry for all the background noise but yeah this is the most eventful travel day in my life thank god the flights weren't eventful just the airport situations but yeah that's about it um i'm gonna end this video here we have just like 20 more minutes to wait um, until we're gonna go to our hotel, but make sure you subscribe and stick around for the New York vlog. So yeah, um, all my travel stuff will be linked, my outfit, all that. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.